Hi, this is Christine. It is October 18, 2014. It's in the evening. And I had a dream last night. I remember it because of the words, but I didn't understand it until Lively's video that she put out today. She is talking about that we have a basket on our head. It has seeds in it. And those seeds are potential that God has planned for you or in store for you. It's you know, it's your potential. It's what you're supposed to become and grow into. And then she's also talking about the two mothers. The the one harlot mother is Eve and the one virgin or vir you know, virtuous woman is Mary and that we have whether you're a male or a female a man or a woman that we both you know both genders we have both sides we've got the the harlot side who wants to go get pleasure from the world you know to gratify the flesh and then we have the Eve side in, or uh, excuse me the Mary side in us who's virtuous and she just wants to please the Lord she's not interested in running around with the world And Lively was talking about growing those seeds, tending to them. It's the mother side, the Mary side of you that takes care of and tends the seeds, your spiritual seeds of your potential. It's the Eve side that doesn't really care. She just wants to go out partying and doesn't really care about sitting on the nest and taking care of her quote family. You know, her little chicks in the nest or the, the seeds, the eggs, whatever. My dream last night. This is going to sound weird <clears throat> because I didn't even understand it. But I was sleeping, and it was like I, I had three children. But they were talking to me from either my womb. They were like the seeds or eggs. I, I don't know. It was just weird. But they were like, they were talking. They were invisible. They were like my invisible or imaginary children. Because I don't have children in, in real life. Um, or... They could have been these potential seeds in my head, you know, on this basket that Lively is talking about in this video. But the three of them, they asked me, instead of going after, like, worldly or... I don't want to say materialistic because I'm not a materialistic person. But instead of like going after those things, like worldly materialistic things, they asked me, why don't you like pay more attention or, or put your energies, your focus on your children? Now this was in my dream and that's all they said. I don't know, I think I might have, I don't know if I kept dreaming or not, but eventually I woke up, and the thing is, it stuck with me. I mean, because here it is, it's the evening, you know, of the next day, and it, it's still with me, but I'm understanding it now better from Lively's videos. It, the children that were talking to me, because I, I think that they were, like, speaking from my, my womb, actually, area. But they were the seeds. They, they weren't actually children. They were just like spirit. And they were asking me, you know, why, why don't, instead of paying attention or going after worldly stuff, why don't you pay attention to your children, you know, or like put more energy or effort into taking care of your children. And, um... Yeah, after listening to Lively's video today. 
I know, it's the, it's the Lord, it, he's, the seeds are the potential that I could become, that I'm meant to be, and I'm not tending to them, I don't know, I guess I'm the lazy mother, I'm not tending to the spiritual side of myself, I know I wrote a comment in, um, Lively's video, today her video, I, I left a comment that the temptations that she's talking about in this video, that I've been going through it late, lately, um, and I didn't know why. I mean, I've been praying and asking the Lord, you know, to like remove it from me, but for some reason it, it seems to have like coiled itself around me and I, I can't. I couldn't break free of it. I didn't understand why I was going through it, but Lively's video today is giving me clarification on why I've been going through what I've been going through lately. See, for me, I don't, like, I don't teach people the way Lively and Anna do. God just has me go through it. And I don't always know why I'm going through it. But then Lively and Anna will speak about it. And and I'll understand why I'm going through it. But I, I just like experience things firsthand. But I don't know why I go through it. Um and that's why, you know, I've I was praying for a long time for somebody like Anna and Lively. Because I just would read books. You know, trying to study and learn, but um I was reading it because I was looking for present day truth. So, yeah, um I was going through it. But Lively's video has explained it. Um, something else. That temptation. The Lord severed it from me today. So, um, it's gone. It's almost like I've turned a corner and I have a different mindset and I'm not getting pulled by it. it. It's almost like he took a sword and he cut whatever snake was trying to coil itself around me to try to pull me back into this worldly temptation that I've been feeling lately. And it's almost like he cut, he took the sword and cut the snake that was around me and the snake just fell off of me. That's kind of what it feels like. And now that that's gone, and that that happened actually earlier today, even before I watched Lively's video. And Anna was talking in her video today about how the Lord pulled her out of the web of, you know, confusion, like the whirlwind that we all get caught up in. Um, yeah, I feel like I got cut too, not out of a web, but like the the snake that had coiled itself around me or was trying to keep itself coiled around, you know, like trying to pull me down. I, I feel like it's been cut off of me today. And now with Lively explaining about the seeds and my having that dream last night about paying more attention to my children, which are this, you know, which are the, the seeds. It's the potential in the basket on your head, because, like I said, I don't have children in real life. Um, but yeah, it's my spiritual seed, and and children are seed. You know, it's my spiritual seed, my spiritual potential in me that I have been not paying attention to. Because I've been going after worldly stuff.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lively. It's incredible how the Lord puts puzzle pieces together through various different brethren. And I learned something from all of you guys, whoever's listening. I learned something from all of you guys, and I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And I pray for you guys. And I prayed for Anna too today to help her because she's talking about maybe going back to work. And you know, she she mentioned some things about um, in her video today. So I I said a prayer for her today too, and her family that the Lord would help them and guide. And um, but yeah, I pray for you guys. And I'm just thankful to have spiritual brother and have a spiritual family. I know I gotta do what Lively said. I gotta circumcise her, the Eve, the worldly part of me. Get rid of her, because she's not taking care of the nest. And I gotta become Mary. And I gotta be patient and tend to my seeds and let it become mature in time and let it make me into my potential that the Lord has for me that he's wanted me to grow into and become but I've been stunting myself and that's exactly what Lively has been talking about in her video today being stunted. So I know now the direction I have to go. Thank you, Father. And um, it's just interesting that I, I had the dream and then these videos would explain it. So praise God. Thank you, Father, for that. Okay, guys, have a good evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.